Hello. Today I'm going to bring you five poses that are really great to do for yin when you are ready to go to bed. It's really awesome to do these poses if you've had a particularly stressful day because it really helps the body release and unwind, putting you in that nice zen state so that you can have a beautiful deep sleep for your evening. So let's get started. The first pose that we will be doing is a nice child's pose. Really helping to work the body out of that sitting position that you've been in all day. Help expand your spine and also just to start to release the stress. So two ways you can do it is without a bolster. If you have a bolster or a pillow at home, this is probably one of the best ways to do it because you're nice and supported sliding down. Starting to sink into the mat. And just taking a few moments. This pose you want to hold for between, anywhere from between three to five minutes. Allowing the body to sink into its stillness, focusing on your breath. So using your phone to time yourself or a watch. And then once your timer goes off, releasing and coming down to a minute rest. So holding here in the stillness, really tuning into the body and letting the body unwind from the pose. Once your minute's up, starting any kind of movement, or if it's been kind of a rough day, just take a moment to continue to rest. And then flipping onto your back, moving into our supine pigeon, which is another great way to, again, release the hips where we like to hold all of our stress, bringing that leg into that figure four positioning, threading the arms through and either grabbing underneath the knee or I like to grab in front of my knee and just start to hold and release into this pose. So this is a good one to hold for about three minutes. So if you feel like you need to, you can always hold longer. So you'll hold into that stillness. Release slowly, switch sides. Again, threading the arm through adjusting the body where you need to. Releasing after the three minutes, coming down to a minute rest. And then taking your movement, grabbing a block, and we'll move into a nice supported bridge. So bringing that block underneath your sacrum. If you don't have a block at home, you can use a bolster or a pillow or two, and you have options here. So if you don't practice yen and you're just venturing in, this is the best way to hold. It starts to stretch into your cervical spine. It's a nice, relaxing, easy pose to do. If you have been doing yin with me for a while. You can always straighten your legs out, doing golden gate, stretching the whole front side of your body, which is great after you've been sitting all day. And again, you'll hold this between three to five minutes. Just taking a moment, breathe into everything, especially if you're doing the golden gate variation. Breathe into everything you're feeling. Try to calm the body down. Of course, you can adjust the block to a lower level if it's too much. Again, once the time is up, bringing the legs back up to bridge if you're in Golden Gate, taking a moment, removing the prop, coming down, and maybe at this point you want to switch your rest position. It's always nice to switch it back and forth, taking a minute, letting that spine relax. And then taking movement. So anytime you're feeling anything in the lower back, windshield wipering with the leg. 
And then we'll move on to the fourth pose, which is banana asana. So I think a lot of times we forget that our side bodies get really tight during the day. So the banana asana, walking the feet off to one side of your mat, and then moving your arms and torso in the same direction, creating that crescent shape. And again, holding here for anywhere to three to five minutes, depending on what feels good. And I say, don't create the bind right away. You're getting ready for bed. So just hang out without the bind. That means crossing the ankle or grabbing onto the wrist and pulling deeper. And then focusing on that breath into the ribs. Releasing after your few minutes, going on to the other side so we don't take rest between. We hit, hit it while it's still hot. Again, holding and breathing. Coming back to our rest, taking those few moments, taking the movement. And then the last and final pose, which is so very great is spinal twist. So not only is the spinal twist gonna feel really good on your back, but it's really great for your nervous system, particularly if you've had a really stressful day. Hug those knees in, drop them over to the right, and the arms can go to a T, a cactus, or a yen. We actually extend our arm overhead, and that stretches all into the subscapular muscles. Hold and breathe here. So we're switching that nervous system from the stress mode into the relax and rest mode. Again, breathing here for about three to five minutes, depending on how long you need to. You can even go beyond, beyond the five minutes. Coming back to center and then dropping over again, three to five. Releasing out of that pose. If you need to, you can do a little quick shavasana for about three minutes, or you can head straight to bed. The great thing about this is that you can actually do all of these poses in bed. You don't have to get your mat out. And once you go down to after that last spinal twist, you just snuggle right into bed and go to sleep because you'll be in a great zen state of mind. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it.